up, fam? How are we doing? Hey. Holy cow. Hey, how you doing? Great. <laughs> what is that, by the way? Sick again. <laughs> what is up with you in the sniffle? I, I don't know if like our kids just touch everything while we're out or like something about the camper or like having two kids back to back. Like I, my immune system just shot. I have no idea. I it, cannot say. If I had to guess, it's probably living in 250 square feet and you just, you're in a cesspool. I don't want to I'm getting healthier every single day. You're in a cesspool of germs, but anyway. Um, feel better. Thanks. I don't want to touch you. Uh, but anyway, hey, it's been a month since we shot another video. Uh, big update here. We're not going to make it an hour long video like last time. That's what you always say. Uh, that's what I always say. The only thing worse than that is a podcast. It's going to be a short and <laughs> sweet one today, guys. It's going to be short and sweet. Listen, we're at a great phase. Uh, we're, how many months is this now? 14? Something like that. Because it's April to April, May, and it's June 5th or something, whatever, fourth today. So. 14-ish months into the build. We've probably got another six to eight weeks left. It's about to be the mad dash to wrap this thing up. It is the mad dash. Our builder's excited. We're talking all the time. Uh, Andy, he's he's uh, just been awesome. Hey, just... they won an award recently. Oh, yeah. Uh, Detroit Choice Award. Some big Something deal like thing. That, yeah. uh, 1,500 people voted and uh, so they're winning something again, which is super cool. Yeah. Hopefully in a year or two, once we get this yeah, all cleaned up, yeah, and get the backyard done, maybe it'll be in a magazine. And that, that's always been our goal is like, we want to like pour back into them because they've done so much for us. Yeah. Uh, and we just hope this is like a, a magazine worthy home, right? Whatever that means. But not chasing the Joneses, but building the home that we wanted, of course. But big, big change. Big right? update. I'm sure you guys can see. All right, I'm just giving it to you. They're painting They're the painting. exterior. We looked back at our swatches of how long we've been thinking about the, the color for the exterior. A lot of you guys thought that the brown was our actual color. That is just the hardy board. Um, <laughs> that's like the material it is. It's like primed and stuff and ready to go. That blue or that brownish green. Yep. Um, and we had swatches up here on the garage for like... Since it September? Was like, it was before Equip. Wow. So like end of September, beginning of October. Sure. And we looked at them like, we stared at them all winter. You could really see the undertones and stuff with the snow next to it. And then the barn was done. And then looking at the colors next to the barn, we've gone back and forth on white for so long. Yep. And we were finally just like full send. It was, this was probably one of the harder decisions, I think, because it's such an expensive, like, I mean, everything's been that way, right? Like if you make a wrong decision, like it is a big investment to correct it. And I'm so glad we went with this. We have a really great um, painter that's been working with us. His name's Samir. Uh, you can probably put his information in here. Sure. Brian. Yep. Um, and he's really helped us like understanding like undertones of paint and like what would look good with like where the direction of the sun is compared to the barn and like. Samir I, really has been very helpful. Yeah. Like you have to have good people in these positions to make sure that you're making the right decisions because everything has been an investment. Yep. So I feel really confident with it and I love how it's looked. I couldn't sleep last night because I had part of it done and then like I wanted to see it again because I just, I don't know, that's hey. how you work. All right, so really quick, just signed off on Michigan Hardwood Flooring, the white oak. Looks like they got another delivery in here. But uh, let me show you the windows. There you go. All right. Now, one of your concerns was, was the windows looking smaller from a distance? Yeah, because when you had the contrast from like the the um, shingle sure. versus the trim around the windows, and it made the windows look a little bit bigger. Now that everything's one color, it kind of all goes into one plane, um, but the windows are oversized, so I don't think that is an issue. No, no, no. One of our questions and concerns was black window trim. Yeah, so we went back and forth a little bit on the windows. Um, the black window, I don't think anyone is more trendy than the other. I think white or black is, is pretty timeless. Yeah. Um, if we had known that we were doing a white house when we originally set out to do the house, I think maybe we would have went with black, but I honestly don't hate it white either. I don't think you could really go wrong. I like being able to see the panes from the road because you we paid you know extra for the little panes of glass. Yep. Um, and when you have black and you're farther away, I don't feel like you see it as much, but you would have seen it, um, the outline of the window compared to the house. Sure. So it's like... That's what I'm saying. I don't think you could have gone wrong. Yeah. No, I, lo I love that and good good point. They're uh, up there taping everything off. We got some rain and uh, storms that are going to be moving through. They oh, said... The sky's looking blue. <laughs> sky's looking... Must be out spraying. Yeah. But uh show you guys just some exterior shots. I think you guys might have saw some drone footage before we uh, started the video. But they're taping everything off and fighting a little bit of the wind. Uh, he said it takes about 45 minutes to an hour to like be dry, dry. So they're going to stop uh, here about another hour or two because we're going to get some storms later this evening. But I think they're just trying to finish up the front. Looking pretty cool. I'm so tired of looking at this beige green. I 
so whatever really, color it is. When we picked the roof and then we picked the stone and those both went on, that greenish brown, whatever, it's a brown color, but it's like a green tone brown. Yeah. Um, really messed with me for a long time because the stone has more of like pink undertones and then the roof is obviously like grays and blues. So that against the green it just looks so weird for so long and it was a huge change it's almost like when you get a haircut and seeing yourself in the mirror for the first couple of times probably not so much for the guys when a girl does like a drastic cut it's like you almost don't recognize yourself in the mirror i feel like you don't recognize the house with it being white because now everything meshes so well yeah i will tell you that was uh, definitely a big concern for me too because uh the first day i was like when they did the stone i'm like did we do the wrong stone which is a huge I think investment I don't know if there's a single thing that we've done for the house that we haven't like second <laughs> and I think that's where come, like having a designer comes in and just like puts you at ease because just like you're kind of like you're putting it off onto somebody else like they're making the decisions like you get final say and kind of like direction and stuff but like if you don't like it you're like oh the designer sucks like no we suck <laughs> if it's wrong trust the process folks that's all I keep telling Liz trust the process like I don't know now it's all white and I'm freaking out which admittedly the first time I was like whoa like because you've been staring at something else for nine months and it's a very dramatic change but it's all coming together maybe it wouldn't be so dramatic good. if we weren't looking at it every single day but because we live here and like i wake up and look at the house like you've right. seen it that way for so long yeah that's fair all right well uh let's go inside uh okay. because there's a lot going on uh, on the exterior i don't want to bother these guys um but i want to show you guys the inside too because uh they have finished up a lot of the trim they finished up um the bottom trim so it's looking really really good sanded cleaned so let's go check that out all right there you Ooh, go it feels so much cooler <laughs> well, your conditioning's finally on we got an air conditioner yeah we got an air conditioner we have a water heater a tankless water heater and it's one of the recycling regenerative ones that it's like always hot it's always hot at the faucet always ready to go. i'm so excited yeah so you know, right now in the camper you have to like wait for the water to come in from the house like through this giant <laughs> it's like a process it takes three minutes for it to warm up but that's okay uh don't die uh i don't know if you guys can see the blue in here I don't know if we filmed this last time, I'm getting backlit by the, uh, but this blue, it's looking really cool. Look at that. I wonder if you can see it on the door. No. No, but everything's all taped up. It looks freaking sweet though. Anyway, um, all the trim type work is done. This feels so soft, like, it's all sanded down. It's hard to describe, but it looks like beautiful white, kind of glossy look. It looks very rich, like very, oh, big luxury. I'm very happy. <laughs> At first, I was a little like, uh, and you know, because this isn't done, for example, and it's all rough and coarse, and you're like, is that how it's supposed to look? So anyway, any uh, comment? So in here, we have, I think we talked a little bit about this last time, it's like all the trim is alabaster, and you can really see it now that the lower trim's done against this that hasn't been done, mm -hmm. that alabaster does have like a warmer tone to it. But it almost makes it feel like you have like a warm light. Like it's not a warm where you're like, oh, that looks dingy. It's like a glowy warm, which I love. I'm, I am really happy with our decision with alabaster. Thankfully, they're all working out. <laughs> We're doing our best. We've never built uh, anything like and this. And this is our hardwood. Yeah. Which I can't wait to see. I think once this goes in, I am so like, pumped. it won't feel like a construction site as much anymore. Yeah. Like it's slowly like, now it looks like a house under construction. I think once the floor goes in, it's like, house yeah you know yep um that makes any sense let me uh we'll go this way there's uh well let me go before we go too far another whole stack of hardwood uh holy cow look at this delivery list that's another big stack of hardwood holy cow that's a lot oh look up there they uh they pulled the tape off so you guys can see the window up there that looks really good sorry that it might be a little backlit on the camera guys nothing i can do on that one but the ceiling looks all like painted. It looks white, it's glossy. I, the last time we showed this, I don't think the ceiling was painted. I can't remember. It's been three or four weeks since we did a video again, so. Yeah, stop doing that. Yeah. Um, looks yeah, good though. It looks really good. I love that, like I wish you guys could feel it in person because it really does feel like furniture. Like it feels so smooth. Yep. It's crazy to me that it like is wood even because that you can't even really tell anymore. Well, I, that's what I was saying at first. I'm like, how do you go from like that coarse wood, but I guess they sand and- This hasn't been done. This sand and stain. Has, but yeah, sand and stain, sand and stain. This has been done. I don't this, think this has. Yeah, oh yeah. It feels great. Looks good. Nobody can feel on the video, but it feels good. It feels awesome. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, the master, I want to show the master because they did the ceiling. They uh, stained the railings, but they're covered up right now. Unfortunately, I can't show you guys that. Does that look? So I don't know if you guys can see the windows and the doors have all been done. 
Gosh, I love like the multifaceted layered trim in the windows. Like I just, I'm very happy with. Yeah, how they how they turned out. Yeah. Yeah. It just, folks, we've never. I know this sounds kind of dorky. If you guys are watching this, you're like. Maybe two different opinions, like one, who are these people, and two, how many millions of dollars do they make with YouTube? We don't. <laughs> I wish. We do not make the YouTube millions. We've done okay, but we don't make millions. But we've never owned anything like this. We've never owned a nice home. We've never I had a home. We've never owned a home. <laughs> we haven't. The we've only, rented apartments. The only home we've ever owned is our camper. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so, like, I know it sounds like we're kind of dorks probably here. Maybe you guys are super successful, you're an engineer, your wife's uh, something in medical, and you guys make 400 grand a year, like, and this is normal to you guys. We did not grow up this way. We've never had nice things like this. Uh, we're very, very blessed and very, very grateful and thankful. So when you see us like walking around and touching the trim and the doors, we're just like, this is cool. And a lot of it has been fun like funded, paid for, overages have been cash flow paid for. Like, not like we're just drowning in debt or anything. Like, this is such a blessing for us in the bonus round. And I'm like, look at this door. It's a beautiful door. One where you can like actually like, it's solid. It's not like a, a trailer park door in my mom's, you know, camper or camper trailer, you know, where you just push it and like your hand can go through it. <laughs> uh, it just looks so good. Anyway, um, just want to share this for a quick second. Anything else I think going on in the house? I want to go show them the compass in the garage and then we'll probably end the tour there. I have a really, I have like the biggest, best update ever. What's that? I'll wait until we get out there because it was something that I was the most excited about recently. All right, well, I'm following you. Let's go to the uh, garage. And again, uh, some of the different things have been installed, like vanities have been put in and what, tile, countertops, hardwood. You can see the trim in the bathroom, I think. Did they do it? I don't know if you can pick it up on camera though. Oh, this is the blue, the Krypton. The Krypton. Yeah, there you go. And I actually just ordered, I went through and we I customized colors of wallpaper and the samples are ordered and should be in, I think, next week. Cool. Because I want to do, it's like a stripe in here. It's going to be really cute. You're probably going to hate it, Brian. But it's really cute. And then I ordered a sample for Cruise Room. Oh, and yeah. And I ordered a sample for, what was the other place? Oh, the um, ceiling and the laundry room. Okay. So I was able to customize our the colors in the wallpaper exactly to our trim colors, which is really fun. I can leave a link here to... How'd you figure that out? Um, I've been obsessed with this illustrator basically for a long time and she makes paper, wallpaper, so... Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I love it. Uh, we were flying through Gatorades and we were flying through uh, the Mexican Cokes. Take care of your people. That's awesome. What's up, brother? How you doing? Good, good. You guys good? Yeah. Sweet. All right. Oh, hey, look. No way. no way! Dude, it's going in. We're so pumped. <laughs> Is everything going okay? Should I just do this? Mm -hmm. I bet. <laughs> I am so oh, excited about this. Over. I want you guys to in. I see any bottled water around here. <laughs> <laughs> he said no bottled water. No way! This is so cool. I feel like it's like the airport, you know what I mean? I drink so much water. Like I did 75 hard and you had to drink like a gallon of water a day. And now that's like my baseline normal to feel. I'm sick right now, so don't, yeah. the, don't look for me to help. Really help look at tips. this. Wow. But I'm so excited. I cannot I'm wait. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so, I just, I'm so excited. He's like, great, pay the bill, get out of here. Yeah, I wanted, <laughs> to, get, I wanted to get it in because it's the first one I've done. Really? Okay, okay. So, and then we just did another one. Recently? Farmington Hills. We, but it's we're not right to this point, so I wanted to get in and make sure because they are gonna have to do some drywall repair. Right sure. But, There's a few places they have to do some stuff. But I wanted to make sure that got in. Get looks it nice. In All right. So really quick, we're showing. Uh, this is the conditioner or the chill. Chiller. The chiller. chiller. Wow. No Look at that. Way. So that's the filter that you're you're gonna have to climb in and change. Oh, that's fine. That's exciting. There you go. So the filter. Wow. That's sweet your life Thank in you. hypothetically how many plastic bottles are saved right oh. <laughs> big keyword there hypothetical right hypothetically. there you go that looks freaking sweet That's wow amazing all right so now that we've completely weirded them out let's talk about i want to show them the compass over here uh spin around it? no 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 i'm not touching anything so where are you showing them our box compass <laughs> good point uh i'm not touching anything because I don't want to um, mess anything up or get it touched, damaged, dirty, anything. But we have a north, south, east, west compass. 
we do so that's gonna go in i think we have to wait a couple weeks after the hardwood has gone down because um it expands in your tracks and stuff and then eventually that'll sit right in between the entryway and the staircase so kind of outside of brian's office then the dining room like right there yep and we're really cheesy and we want this place to always be um the north True north. True north for our kids. Can we take it out of the box? No, no, no. You I'm know what else he won't take out of the box? It's driving me freaking nuts that I cannot wait to see is our door. Yay. We've waited forever for these to come in. Like, forever. We were joking that it was stuck on that ship that took out the Baltimore Harbor. <laughs> <laughs> because it's like, they took forever to come in. Um, well, also, they forgot to make them. So we ended up sending in our deposit, check. deposit and they used it for somebody else's. And then contacted us and were like, hey, if you don't give us your deposit, then we're not making your doors. And we're like, actually, this one time, we we, we actually did what we were supposed to do. So Paid a deposit on time. Yeah. Um, but they're wood, and they're gonna go on the outside, on the front, and the side entry. Yep. Um, God, I really just want to break it open. No. I know. Liz, Brian like, won't let me. No, I'm like, I'm not touching the door. I'm not touching anything because I'm not taking responsibility for it till we receive it <laughs> as a finished home, you know. And, uh, and everybody has been really cool, but at the same point, you know, if there's some broken pane of glass, I'm not, I'm not getting in trouble for that. You know, these are expensive, man. Um, I think this is the family, maybe. This is like a hardware, mounting hardware, and then I think this is the uh, double doors. The double doors, if I had to guess, or maybe vice versa. I think it's vice versa because I think actually the double doors are skinnier than. Oh yeah, maybe this is it because we got two like 32 or 34 inch doors, okay. so I might have that backwards. But anyway. All right, you guys want to see what I'm most excited about? Yeah. Recently. What? It's outside. I'm following you. Okay. I am so excited about my hose. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> No, really though, um, I was having to go down to the basement because I didn't want to use um, our softened water on my plants because it's salty and would literally kill my plants. Um, so I was going down to the basement, filling up a bucket with water or putting it under a bucket underneath our gutter downspout on the barn and collecting rainwater to water my plants with. So to have running water that I can just turn on and then go and water my garden with has been amazing. I've never had a hose as an adult. I've never had a hose. We've never had a hose. This is my hose. <laughs> hose. By the way, my guys were uh, helping us with, uh, we bought a pressure washer. I bought a Simpsons pressure washer. It's in the barn and uh, it was the most exciting thing ever for me for business so now i can wash my equipment but the guys had never seen these uh spigots before and these are like the quick connect ones can you get that host for me then yeah i you so brian oh, just, there. there you go <clears throat> brian just sent me out here and was like hey there's a hose back there for you go figure it out and i have never seen this before either it's like a lock on this and you like twist it in i don't want to do it right now twin. but there you go i've twist. never seen this before either yep. and it's really really neat and i got like the fancy crank hose that you like it cranks up in this and then i have a watering <laughs> wand do you guys want to see my plants let's see the plants okay, and then we'll wrap this up okay. because i'm sure we're losing half the audience here this is this is how i don't say basic we are but how far back we've come and like we are definitely not foo foo people and we are so excited about like the little things in life right now <laughs> so these are my roses they're in pots because i don't know once the landscaping goes in and stuff where everything's gonna go um but before we moved i had david austin roses at our old apartment that i would water on our balcony and stuff and they all died <laughs> i killed all of them before we moved so i had to rebuy all new ones this one started from bare root and it already has its first baby buds so those are my roses <laughs> And then I have like a garden and I planted everything too close together, but I'm just going to see what happens. It's our first, first garden. Yeah. There you go. Where's your watering wand? I don't know. You took it off and I don't know where it is. It's right here. I was like, I came back from Home Depot one day and I bought you a watering wand. It was sweet. There you go. Best 20 bucks ever, right? <laughs> All right. That's it. Hey, we're wrapping it up because this is already probably going on too long. And nobody cares about our garden. <laughs> we're not homesteaders. <laughs> Anyway, uh, are you excited? I am. How are you feeling? Dragon, Sick. <laughs> dragon, dragon butt right now. Uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you guys enjoy the vlog. Um, the painters got their uh, scaffolding by their uh, Mike's team got their scaffolding because um, they needed it for a different job. But it, he's like, yeah, I didn't know I was sitting out here for four months. For four months, yeah. Yeah. Then we can actually use that back door. But anyway, um, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are living your best life. Um, I don't really have any. My other channel, I'm always like, like, comment, subscribe. I, I don't really care if you like, comment, or subscribe on this channel. I do. Yeah, I'm, I'm, we'd love to have you, but it's not like we're trying to like make YouTube millions over here. Uh, we're just enjoying documenting the home build and the house build, and it's so awesome. By the way, what? You know what I should do? I should interject some footage of you mowing the lawn. <laughs> I did. That was so I fun. I mowed the lawn, 
for the first I, time. Well, because I mean, the kids were driving me freaking batty. I love them to death, but man, in that camper, they need to either be outside or like asleep. Yeah. And Brian's like, I'm gonna cut the lawn. And I was like, man, I wish I had a, a, a not a hobby, but like a, a chore that took me out of the house for three hours, once or twice a week. And he's like, go for it. And so I did. And look and at the lawn. It's getting long it's, now. You need to cut I it again. Do it again. Look at my stripes. You can still kind of see them. They're not too bad. They're not awful. You should have seen Just Brian. A little though. wavy. He, was, he came out to yell at me a couple of times. Coaching. It's all called coaching, right? <laughs> <laughs> I would miss something and then like realize I missed something and then just kind of like go back and then I, I didn't realize you're supposed to like back up to do turns. So I the, was just like the part. I, did, I didn't say anything for the first 20 minutes until you went out. We have this like carpet and then a bunch of kids' toys oh, and like should. outdoor play toys on this carpet out front next to the camper, and she like squared around it, but shooting the discharge side of the mower at our little picnic area, and it's covered in grass clippings right now, and I'm like. My mom cleaned it off. I was like, hey, um, little pro tip. She goes, I don't need your mansplaining. <laughs> but I was like, please don't blow grass clippings on the garden bed. Other than that, everything else did look pretty good. So it's awesome. Now that I know you can cut the lawn. Cool. And I don't I'll have to. to a podcast and get a tan. Go get you two, three hours in. Yeah, take a break. Yeah, get away from the kids for a hot minute. Um, yeah, I don't blame you. All right, over now, guys. Appreciate your watch. And hope uh, this was fun for you. Paint's going well. After this is the Mad Dash. They have the countertops already cut. Uh, we're finishing up our lighting this afternoon. Um, paint is going to do all the walls after. Samir's going to come back. Samir's custom painting. We'll leave a link in the description if you guys need anybody in Metro Detroit. He's been great. Mm -hmm. um, and so patient with us. Very patient. Very, very, very patient individual. Uh, after that, little this, little that. Punch outs for everything. And should be home in six to eight weeks. How crazy is that? <laughs> I think... I, the, having this much space scares me. <laughs> me too. It's gonna be an empty house for like two years. <laughs> we don't know what to do. We're Never. all gonna congregate in one room. So. <laughs> <laughs> like like a little. You know how like, like you can train trolls. an elephant like if it's chained for like its first part of its life, it won't ever leave like that area. Yeah. That's like our. <laughs> it's gonna be like I am legend. We're gonna have like a burn barrel in the living room. <laughs> We're gonna look like squatters because <laughs> we don't know what to do with all this space. We've the most space we've ever had was our old apartment, fourteen hundred square feet. Fourteen hundred square feet. And uh, this will be two three x that, which is wild you know so uh anyway super blessed super grateful super thankful thank you guys so much for love support the water bottle fillers the water bottle fillers <laughs> actually are pretty cool <laughs> no we're not gonna mess it up uh knowing our luck will drain it all through the basement yeah. or something but um super appreciate you guys always loving on us support on us um if you guys are a casual observer you're like who are these people they're what weird wrong with you guys? totally understand <laughs> if you guys have, around for a while, if you guys yeah. have been around for a little bit or even the other channel you know like this has been like eight years of just slaving and saving to get this far and um, we're so grateful as you guys can imagine so that's all i got anything else no the water runoff filler is gonna make me cry yeah it is pretty go. cool yeah all right over now guys bye bye